are back with another video so we are at dubai mall we are going to visit the dubai aquarium uh, i think what is the speciality it is one of the largest underwater aquarium okay it is one of the largest underwater aquarium the underwater zoo is there they have introduced a new penguin zone so it's the biggest aquarium wow okay so i'm really excited let's go and explore the aquarium inside the mall and in the metro and now we are finally at the entrance of the aquarium again uh, like last time we have booked the tickets online i will uh, provide the link uh, in the description box where you can get some discounts as well so let's go in Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo is home to thousands of aquatic animals comprising over 140 species. Over 400 sharks and rays live in the 10 million liter tank including sand tiger sharks, giant groupers and a host of other marine species. A series of carefully designed experiences will allow the visitors to come face to face with the aquatic residents for memorable moments with friends and family. We were first heading to the underwater zoo where we saw a wide variety of birds and animals and it was fascinating to see that all of this was inside a giant mall. <laughs> We got to see otters. This species of otters is the smallest of all 13 otter species and is native to Asia. The Asian small clawed otter, a highly threatened species, is the smallest breed of the otter in the world, weighing less than 5 kg. Carnivorous in nature, they live in streams, rivers, marshes, and rice paddies. We also got to see a wide variety of fishes varied in sizes and color all around the place. It was good and nice to read about them in the small info plates beside all of the tanks. We were heading to another main attraction here which is the Penguin Cove. Uh, these penguins were brought in from USA and they have purposefully built temperature control facility to replicate the sub antarctic environment conditions we are going to get inside the penguin cove i don't know if you can hear me but uh, outside 
like it was a crazy experience. There were birds flying just above our heads, along with uh, fishes and all of it. It was a little scary for me, but really, I can't believe that they are actually managing this inside a mall. Now uh, we are going to uh, have a close watch of penguins. I heard that there are new small penguins that are just born uh, a few months back uh, that are available here. So let's go see. It will take 10 to 15 minutes. Beginning as a group or finishing as a group. They also have a special lighting system that replicates their annual light cycle. This exhibit is multi-level and has lots of exciting areas for the penguins to climb on and explore. Different types of the penguins you have in the world. You have emperor. It's the largest group of the penguins in the world, followed by the king. And you have the gentle, the third largest group of the penguins. Here we're going to meet the gentle types of the penguins. This way. Here there are a total of 16 beautiful gentoo penguins, 8 male and 8 female. The temperature is 2 degrees Celsius. These are our gentoo types of the penguins, the third largest group in the world. They are the fastest swimming birds in the world. They swim at a speed of 36 kilometers in one hour. When they are swimming, they submerge in two water for 7 minutes. The gentle penguin grow up the height of 90 centimeters and the average is always between 4.6 to 6 kilograms. They are carnivores, you give them some fish to eat. There is another all new immersive encounter that allows guests to step inside the penguin cove habitat and go face to face feather with a colony of live gentle penguins. But this is at an extra cost. They have a lifespan of only one year, after one year they die. How do they die? They only dissolve, they turning into water and the jerrys. The composition of the water is 95% and for the jerrys only 5%. They absorb the heat from the light and produce algae. They feel that algae from the bottom, that's why they are called the upside down sea jerrys. The presenter also takes you through algae formations, turtles and shark eggs as well. You are also taken up close with the fishes where you have an opportunity to feed them. Apart from feeding, there is also another activity where you can enjoy a bird's eye view of over 33,000 aquatic animals on the glass bottom boat ride, but this comes at an extra cost.
Apart from depicting this as a tourist attraction, there is also a lot of education related activities that is conducted here. The Ocean School Education Program is dedicated to both public and private schools throughout the UAE and covers a wide range of age groups and topics of study. The first of its kind regional initiative is aimed at enhancing awareness of marine animals and habitats while raising conservation awareness. The Ocean School strives to create an innovative educational experience that is relevant to curriculum developments, receptive to teachers' needs, and promotes conservation education in the classroom. If you would like to take a short break in between all the exploration, there is also a beautiful cafe situated inside this aquarium. Weighing in at a whopping 750 kgs and measuring over 5 meters in length, this massive 40-year-old creature is originally native to Australia and is a wonder of the animal kingdom. There is also a suspended bridge above all of this giving you an aerial view of the zoo where you can also have a close look at the barn owl. There was a separate section for reptiles and also another area where it was dim lit and had a night effect because of the audio that was being played. This ensured that all the animals placed here felt they were in a natural habitat and felt comfortable too.
You can buy souvenirs from here if you want to. We saw the uh, zoo and all of the uh, reptiles and animals and all of that. And we were just wondering if that was it. But then they asked us to go two levels down for the real aquariums. That's still not uh, explored by us. So let's go! There are a few people who are just having a look at it from outside itself. This aquarium when entered is more like a tunnel where you get to see a close view of all the species here. The 10 million litre tank is one of the largest suspended aquariums in the world. It houses thousands of aquatic animals including one of the largest collections of sand tiger sharks in the world. The 48 meter walkthrough tunnel provides 270 degree views from 11 meters below the surface of the tank. If you're lucky, you can see divers waving at you as well. And at an extra cost, for the adventurous ones, a shark dive is a once in a lifetime opportunity, bringing you within inches of a large variety of sharks and rays. Those who want to experience a dip in the tank can opt for a shark encounter experience as well. If you are patient enough, you will get some breathtaking photos and videos inside this tunnel. I got a few which I have posted on my Instagram handle. Don't forget to check it out. They also click pictures of you while you explore the place but the cost of these pictures are on the higher side so we do not opt for it. Yeah, so with that we come to the end of our video so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we are going to be visiting a lot more places so uh, do stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we really enjoyed uh, this day. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye!